Hey, good morning, YouTube, and another video for you. Thought I'd give y'all a little walk around the room. Well, not really around the room. Uh, just show you a little bit of my figurines that I have all up on the shelves. Show you where I got them from. I have some behind you. And uh, if y'all seen the video that I posted uh, a few, uh, I believe, what, last week of a little shelf, I have a little display. So I'll probably go in introduce that again it all depends but i already went over it but if you're new to my channel please click the like button please subscribe please show a little support for my channel uh what i do is i talk about physical media talk about uh you know i got other stuff i want to talk about my video games my uh i got my man bar pool table have snack bar got my whole little setup here in my man cave my little go-to spot when i come home from a long day for work so if you like talking about that stuff, please click the uh, like button. Please subscribe. Please just show, uh, show the little support. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get straight right into it. All right. I have uh, Batman here. Got this from Amazon. Got the original like Batman colors, the gray and black. Uh, when I got it from Amazon, they only got it for like 10 bucks. So thought I looked good on the show. Got my Goku little Funko. Uh, uh, little action figure. I don't know what you call them. Honestly, I just recently started collecting these and I take them out of the box. I know some people keep them in the box, but I take mine out of the box. Uh, but the little Dragon Ball that sit next to them, which is I thought was pretty nice. Um, so I have a uh, Scorpion and uh, Sub, Sub Zero um, Funko uh, little figurines. Um, these are based on the 2021 moving and i like how they look and um the sub-zero glows in the dark i have um predator huge fan of uh predator um franchise i know all the movies ain't great but uh here let me turn the light for you right there yeah so give give out good um, detail and the light show you more um so i like the little figurine i think i got that from amazon as well uh have this Jurassic Park uh, sound box. If you make it to the end, end of the video, I would uh, play the sound box for you. It's neat. Um, huge uh, fan of the Jurassic Park uh, uh, franchise. I admit I do not like all of them. Uh, the quality went down, but I still enjoy watching the movies. My son and I, we still enjoy watching the movies. And I got Alan here, his character. Got that from off of Amazon. Thought it'd go neat with the sound box. I'll play that for you at the end of the video. Uh, have Melina from Mortal Kombat, one of my favorite, uh, if not my favorite character on um, the Mortal Kombat franchise. Got her little Funko Pop design also after from uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Got the Joker that uh, that match up well with uh, the Batman at the other end. So that complete my uh, the top shelf. And I got the sign that say uh, Game Room. That went great with the whole stand. Uh, I got the stand from uh, Ikea, and I got the game room sign from uh, Hobby Lobby. So, went along with it. Great for the background. All right. Come down here. Got the character from uh, White Man Can't Jump. Thought that was cute, so I grabbed that. I uh, got the Superman here. Old-fashioned looking Superman. No Henry Cavill Superman, just your regular um, Superman. And uh, down here on the other end, I have um, the Funko Pop and I have The Rock, who was my favorite wrestler back then. I thought that was neat. Um, and I got uh, Iron Man when he did the snap in the um, Avengers movie, uh, Endgame, and that also glow in the dark. And I thought that was neat. Come down here, have uh, figurines of New Sabat, and I have my man Luke Kane, which also I'm a fan of those characters that. Uh, that I got from Amazon. I plan on getting one more over here. I just haven't figured out what characters I'm gonna get yet. That go along with the Mortal Kombat poster. Thought that was neat. And um, I have um, Wolverine. Got this from, um, what I got this one from? I think I got this from uh, Amazon as well. Mostly all these figurines I can take you now, all of them from Amazon. And uh, came with a good price. Thought that was a nice little set, Samurai Sword. And I uh, got the Storm, the gold that's sitting right next to him. Thought that was neat. So uh, that's my girl. Those are like my two favorite characters from the uh, from the X Men. Uh, uh, and um, 
I was glad to finally get them here. Both from Amazon. All right, next, I have uh, Bruce Lee over here. Got his figurine next to his Bruce, uh, Bruce Lee uh, movie set, um, Blu-ray. Thought that was a, a neat combo. And I uh, got that also from Amazon. And, uh, you know, look neat. And I got all his movies I grew up on. My mom, she got me she got me on Bruce Lee. And uh, I've been a fan ever since. So I thought I'd go like for each other. Go up here. I have uh, Ash from Evil Dead. And I have uh, Gizmo from uh, The Gremlins. You know, two fan. Uh, I was a huge fan of them when I was uh, growing up. And when I seen these two, I had to get them. I got them both from Amazon as well. And uh, yep, fit perfect in the little spot. I didn't know what to do with it. And I thought like, you can get the two Funko Pops and you know, they can go along with it. So thank you. All right. So next, let's go over here. Main shelf. Uh, just picked up this Deadpool figurine um, from Amazon. And it looked great on this shelf. I have uh, Venom, go great with a shelf, and I have uh, Spider-Man, go great with a shelf. And you see if I got the comic book behind. I haven't put, um, put up the Venom comic book, which I have, and I got to grab me a Deadpool comic book, and I just haven't figured out what I'm, I'm going to put here in this uh, spot right here. So I just had to figure that out. But all three of them got from Amazon, and they all look great. Every time uh, I have family come over and check them out, they love them. Great detail. Um, every time I come down here, they kind of pop out the room a little bit. Can't miss them as soon as you come down. You sit over by the couch, they right above your head. So, those are my figurines right here. And just got to figure out what way. If y'all have any ideas, shoot me a message that go along with these three. I was going to make them all Spider-Man, but I thought like, nah. I thought like, I gotta spread it out a little bit, but I love this Deadpool one. It has just two swords in the back and you can see them. And you can take them out when you want to. So, move this real quick. See, you can take them out, place them any way you want them. Thought that was neat. So, I just got that one uh, earlier this week. So, yep. All right, I'll get back over here. Swing back around. And uh, that's it. Those are my figurines. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up. And I will get back to you in a second. All right. So that was a quick video of my figurines that I have planted all around the room. Um, I didn't know if I was going to get them or not. I was always going back and forth. So I finally, when I finally decided to start collecting them, I felt like they bring out the room a little bit more and make my room more uh, fascinating. When people come over and check them out, they they love the figurines and uh, plan to only have plans to get three more. I'm just thinking real hard what three I'm going to get. And I'm going to set it up. Just uh, waiting for also waiting for a good deal. These figurines, some of them are a good price, some of them are not. Some of them could get pretty expensive. But besides that, um, you know, if you think about making the man cave, go ahead and uh, check out Amazon. Uh, they have a lot of figurines and uh, it's called a diamond select uh, figurines they they have their own website go check them out uh, some of them the prices can get up over hundreds of dollars and you know I'm not looking to kick out that much money I'm kind of stuck between the 20 and 50 dollar range and uh, honestly the characters that I want to collect and put in my man cave they are in that price range just the same with the Deadpool where they only spend like 40 bucks on him uh, Spider-Man was only like 50 bucks. Uh, the Storm, she probably was the most expensive one I was paid, but that was the hardest one to find, and that one was only like close to $60. But I'm um, happy with uh, what I got. So if you made it to the end of my video, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this uh, Jurassic Park sound box. Uh, I got this from Amazon. Let me grab it off the top of the shelf real quick. And some might think it's corny, but it is what it is. So you get the idea, play the um, iconic song that, uh, that it has at the end of the movie. And, well, throughout all the movies. And I thought it was a nice little piece. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, my mom loved that uh, music box. She thought it was uh, pretty neat. But anyway, if you made it to the end of my video, 
I'm glad that y'all was able to tune in. I didn't make this video too long, just made it simple. I want to show off my little figurines. I have, uh, when I grab the rest of them, I'm going to make an updated video. If you uh, made it to the video, I uh, appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I have more videos to come. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please click that like button. Please subscribe. I would uh, highly appreciate it. You know what? Catch y'all guys later.